This is the second section of uh, chapter one on vectors and this section is on finding areas and what we'll see in this section is that you can use the vector or cross product uh, as it's known to find the area of different shapes in particular we're going to be looking at triangles and uh, parallelograms now since we're going to be finding area and area is two dimensional so area is 2d when we had our definition for the uh, cross product so a cross b um, that was a length of a times by the length of b times by the sine of the angle between them then times by this normal vector so it's this normal vector here that makes it three dimensional because that's the bit that sticks out isn't it? if we've got sort of vector uh, a here like this and we've got a vector b here like this um, then that normal vector was the one that sort of stuck out in three dimensions so if we're only dealing in two dimensions this vector becomes irrelevant yeah so um, in 2d we don't uh, use or need this vector here so in 2d to summarize basically in 2d our definition for the cross product is going to be a cross b equals length of a times the length of b times by the sine of the angle between them okay this question here is find the area of the triangle OAB where O is the origin A is a point with position A and B is a point with position vector B so the first thing we're going to do is to draw a diagram of this so point O is here A is here this is the vector A point B is here this is the vector B we want to find the area of the triangle OAB so that means joining uh, the other two sides together so we'll do that put that there we want to find that area now um, let's consider this angle here and think about how we would find the area of a triangle like that where we'd use um, the um, half a b sine c half a b sine c okay now on this um, a okay well that's going to be the length of um, o a I suppose we could write it as the length of a like this or you could write it as this and b well that's going to be the length of OB which you could also write as this and then sine C will C is in this case theta okay so let's write down what we've got so area of triangle OAB equals half AB sine C or using that then from that we will get and I really shouldn't put an equal sign there because we're going to be using that um, so the area of the triangle is going to be half length of a length of B sine theta now this part here this is the definition of the cross product that is a cross b which we uh, just talked about um, because you know we we don't need the normal vector so uh, we can say since um, length of a should underline those times the length of b sine theta equals a cross b um, we will get the area of a triangle as half 
A cross B. Now we put the modulus in here, um, in here and here, because we actually want a scalar answer. Don't we? we don't want a vector answer. Area is not going to be a vector. An area is going to be a scalar. It's going to be a number. So by working out the modulus, the size of um, A cross B, it will turn into a scalar. So I'll just put here um, modulus needed since area is a scalar and that's what we want a scalar answer it's not going to make much sense if we have the area of that triangle as a vector so now we've got a way of finding the area of a triangle Okay, right, so here we've got, we want to find the area of a triangle ABC where the position vectors of A, B and C are A, B and C respectively. Right, so just like before, we're going to draw a triangle, but this time um, one of the corners or vertices isn't O, it's A. So we're going to put A, B, C. And the vectors A, B, C are the positions of ABC relative to the origin. So I'm going to do this here. Here's my origin. Now this may look a bit confusing, but this is just so that we can see what's going on. So this is the vector A. Um, this is going to be the vector B. So they're all relative to the origin. And this is the vector C. Okay, so those red lines are just the positions of those points relative to the origin. Now we're going to use the same technique as before. The area of the triangle is going to be half times the cross product of A and B. In this example, uh, my two sides A and B um, if we call this side A, so this would be the vector AB, and um, this is the other side that we want here. Um, that's going to be the vector AC, like this. So the area then would become equal to half AB cross. AC. The vector AB is going to be um, B minus A from A to B, B minus A, so B minus A. Whoops, done my line in the wrong place, do that underneath. And my vector that goes from A to C uh, would be C minus A. So C minus A. Now since um, the cross product is distributive, we can expand the brackets, which means basically just we can cross these items together like this, just like you would with normal expanded brackets. So I would get uh, B cross C, then um, plus B cross minus A. So B cross minus A. Now what I might do afterwards is move these minuses to the front. Then I've got um, minus a cross c so minus a cross c and then one more to go and that would be minus a cross minus a minus a cross minus a okay right let's um see what we can do with this so the b cross c we'll leave that as it is there 
uh, we'll take the minus out of the second bracket so that would be minus and then b cross a again well not again but b cross a we'll take the minus from the third bracket so we'll have a cross c and then for the last one where well, they're both going to be minus so it's going to be a cross a like this now we can uh, simplify this because there were two things that we learned from before that um, you cross a vector by itself it equals the zero vector and also um, although you can't reverse the order or you can reverse the order but if we reverse the order in which you cross uh, two vectors then it changes it from positive to negative so we're going to use both of these rules to see if we can simplify this a bit further okay so b cross c stays as it is now minus b cross a is the same as plus a cross b minus a cross c is the same as plus c cross a and then the a cross a well that's just zero isn't it zero vector now if i just rearrange the bits in the modulus um, to uh, in alphabet order then i can get this result that the area of a triangle um, equals half now let's start with a b a cross b so all i'm doing is changing the order plus b cross c plus c cross a and by changing the order it just makes it a little bit easier to remember because you've just basically got a b b c c a okay so if i want to find the area of a triangle a b c like this this is what i can use so i'll write the full result over here in what color should we go for green so area of a triangle a b c um, is equal to half a cross b let's get my symbols right a cross b plus b cross c plus c cross a so we'll be able to use that uh, later on i think that'll probably be useful as a quick way to find the area of a triangle okay find the area of a parallelogram where the position vectors uh, of a b c and d are or a b and d are a b and d respectively okay so let's draw a diagram uh, of this so this is my parallelogram and we'll call it a b c d like this and um, it just gives us the position vectors of a b and d so let's put this here this is the origin so this is a this is d and this is b now one of the features of a parallelogram is that if we join the opposite di diagonal we get two congruent triangles okay so the area of the parallelogram area of parallelogram is basically two triangles isn't it so we can say that it's the area of triangle now what have we got the vectors for a b d triangle a b d 
times 2 because they're both going to have the same area so triangle um, BCD is going to have the same area as ABD right now how can we find the, the area of triangle ABD well we can just use what we did before so area using the the letters that we've we've got so I need to learn to write area of triangle a b d equals half now we just follow through the alphabet a um, plus b or a so not a plus b a cross b a cross b plus b cross d plus d cross a yeah so just a b b d d a like that just like a b b c c a same type of thing so the area of the par parallelogram is going to be twice that which means you just get um rid of the half so area of parallelogram a c or a b so i need to learn my alphabet as well a b c d equals this the modulus of a cross b plus b cross d plus d cross a okay and again this is another result which i think we're going to find very useful to find the area of a parallelogram so now we can find the area of a triangle and the area of a parallelogram Right, we're going to find the area of a triangle OAB where O is the origin and we have points A and B. Now it's not necessary to draw a diagram, but I like drawing diagrams. Just means that um, you know, I can be sure I'm doing exactly the right thing. And uh, what do we have? Um, these are relative to the origin. Um, so whoops, let's just get rid of that so we've got these vectors here so to get from O to A it's um, I minus J so let's put that in so this is I minus J and P or B has position uh, 3I uh, plus 4j minus 6k okay so <clears throat> the area of this area of OAB this is where we do half times the cross product of the vectors um, that take us from O to A and from O to B that's like my A and B in the original formula. So that's going to be half times. Now the easiest way to do the cross product is using determinants. So I, J, K. O, A is uh, I minus J and 0, K. And O, B is 3, 4, negative 6. Right, so let's uh, work this out. So it's going to be a half times the modulus of i times its minor, which is going to be minus 1, or the, the determinant of this is the minor, minus j, and its minor will be whatever the determinant of this is, and then plus k. and the determinant of its minor and that will be 1 minus 1 3 4 okay what do we get half of the size of right so for i uh, if i work out the determinant of this that'll just be 6 so it's 6i then for this one, if I work out its uh, determinant 
that will be negative 6. I could have taken away 0. Because you've got negative j there, it becomes plus 6j. And then for k, well, this will become 4 minus negative 3. So 4 plus 3, that will become 7. So 7k, like this. So because we want to find the size of this, we then do Pythagoras on 6, 6, and 7. So square root 6 squared plus 6 squared plus 7 squared. So half of root, let's see what that is, 36 plus 36 plus 49, which is 121, that's handy. So that's what, half of 11? Okay, so the area is going to be 5.5 .5 square units. Okay, there's our area of that triangle. Just highlight it here. Right, find the area of a triangle ABC where we've got the position vectors of a b and c are given as these vectors so that one when it says respectively it means in the same order so let's highlight them in different colors so we don't get confused about which one is which there we go right um we could draw a, a diagram we don't need to but i will anyway i think you know, sometimes it's often helpful to see what's going on so we can see which ve vectors we want to work out. So A, B, C. So A, now I'm going to write this as columns. 4 minus 2, 1. B is minus 12, 14, 1. And C is minus 4, minus 2, 1. So um, I'm going to take this as the angle here. So I want to know these two vectors, AC and AB. OK, now remember the, the quick way, I, th I think, to work out um, the vector is to work out the jump from one point to the other you can do c minus a you'll get the same thing but if i work out the jump from the four to minus four so that's minus eight if i then work out the jump from minus two to minus two well that's just zero and then if i work out the jump from one to one well that's zero as well so i'll put that as zero Okay, we'll do the same over here. We're going to work out what the vector AB is. So what's the jump from 4 to minus 12? Well, that goes down by 16. Then the jump from minus 2 to 14, that goes up by 16. And then the jump from 1 to 1, that's 0. Right, so these are going to represent the vectors um, a and B when we work out f uh, the area. So area, we'll just write down the formula again, area of triangle equals half and then the cross product of A and B. In my example here, you know, in this example, um, the vector A is going to be uh, minus 8, 0, 0. So let's do it as a column, minus 8, 0, 0. And then we want to find the cross product with that. And minus 16, 16, 0. Then we're going to find the length of that and then divide it by 2. OK, now to find the cross product, we're going to use the um, determinant method that's going to be the uh, easiest one so the area is going to be half of the determinant 
of this so i j k and then we'll have uh, negative 8 0 0 negative 16 16 0 and we want to find the determinant of that right so this will be half and let's stick this all in big brackets that'll be um, i times the determinant of its minor zero zero sixteen zero minus j um, and that will be minus eight zero negative sixteen zero plus k and that will be minus eight zero negative sixteen sixteen Okay, what does that give us? Oh, no, don't forget the bracket here at the end. So that'll be a half. And we've got to remember, actually, <clears throat> these shouldn't be brackets here because we're working out the modulus of this. So let's put the modulus signs in. That will be correct. And yeah, half times the modulus of. So I times by well it's going to be zero, zero times by i if we work out the uh, determinant of this zero minus nothing and then it's going to be minus j times by uh, now the determinant of this one is also going to be zero because you've got that times that minus that times that so let's put minus zero times by j and then um, the last one, well, we've got negative 8 times by 16 minus nothing. Okay, so let's work that out. 8 times by 16, 8 times by 16. So it's going to be negative 128. So we got minus 128k, minus 128k. Okay, now we want to find the size of that, which is basically half times the size of 128k. Um, I suppose I could underline all of these here, these vectors. So basically that's just going to be 128, isn't it? Don't need to do Pythagoras on that, it's only a single thing. So the area is going to be half of 128. So the area of that triangle is 64 square units whatever those units um, happen to be so there's our uh, final answer for that question there 64 square units okay in this example it says find the area of the parallelogram a b c d where we've got the position vectors a b and D. So again, I'm going to draw a diagram simply because it may be it just um, uh, helps visualize it. So something like this, that bottom line's a bit too long, so it's like this. So let's call it A, B, C, D. Now, when you label these, um, make sure that adjacent vertices are, are labelled with adjacent letters so you wouldn't for example um, put um, B over here yeah uh, that's important so A B C D A B C D unless it was a uh, parallelogram A C B D in which case then you would label it that way around now well, what we've got here are the position vectors um, of three of the vertices a so that's two one minus one uh, b which is six four minus three and d so this one over here uh, which is fourteen seven minus six so to find the um, area of this parallelogram, so area of parallelogram, um, that's going to equal uh, the modulus of the cross product of these two 
uh, sides here. So A, whoops, A, D. Crossed with A, B. Okay, so remember with a, a parallelogram. Whoops, that's going to be the worst drawing of a parallelogram ever. Let's try another one. So in a parallelogram, something like this, uh, we want to know these two vectors here. Uh, and uh, that's basically what we've got. So I'm going to write those vectors on the diagram. Remember, we can use the jump from one side to the other. So from A to D, uh, we go from 2 to 14, so that's 12. We go from 1 to 7, that's 6. And then we go from minus 1 to minus 6, that's minus 5. And then A to B, we go from 2 to 6, which is 4. 1 to 4, which is 3. Minus 1 to minus 3, which is minus 2. So there's our two vectors. So we want the modulus of the size of 12, 6, minus 5, crossed with uh, 4, 3, minus 2. So we'll use the um, determinant method. So I, J, K, and then 12, 6, minus 5, 4, 3, minus 2. So that will be, now we want to find the size of this. So that's going to be the size of this. So I, and we've got 6, minus 5, 3, minus 2 minus j and then we'll have 12 minus 5 4 minus 2 and then plus k uh, and that'll be 12 6 4 3 let's get this out the way so we've got space to finish this off here okay so what do we want to find the size of Right, so it's going to be i times by minus 12 um, plus 8, minus 12 minus, uh, so not 8, uh, minus 12 plus 15, which is going to be uh, 3i. And then moving on to the next one, this will be minus 24 plus 20 so that's going to be minus 24 plus 20 so that would be minus 4 and then with that that'll make it minus minus 4 so plus 4 j and then uh, the last one here this will be 36 minus 24 which is 12 so plus 12 k so the size of that is going to be Pythagoras on 3, 4 and 12. We don't need to half it because remember it's a parallelogram, it's like the two triangles. So we want the square root of 9 plus 16 plus 144 which is root 169 which gives 13 square units whatever those units happen to be okay so that would give us the area of the parallelogram so you should now be able to do uh, exercise uh, 1b on pages 9 to 11 so just as a recap um, if we have a triangle like this where one of the vertices is the origin and where the sides of the triangle are, are, are those vectors a and b then the area of this is going to be half a cross b if instead um, what we have is a triangle like this and we've got a b c 
and relative to the origin um, these are the vectors a c here and b here then this area slightly different formula is equal to half a cross b plus b cross c plus going to run out of space c cross a like this then if we move on to the parallelogram so with our parallelogram again if one of the vertices is the origin like this so o a um, b c like this so this would be a this would be b then it's like the same formula for the triangle we just take the half out so it'll just be the modulus of a cross b if however we have um, none of the vertices is the origin so we have um, a b c d and relative to a fixed origin let's put these here like this so we'd only need a vector a vector d and vector b like this uh, this area is going to be similar to the one for the triangle again there's no half but we'd use a b d so a cross b plus b cross d plus d cross a and then the modulus of that will give you the area of that parallelogram